if, if you haven't noticed, uh, we have a couple of chiefs with us today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Chief Best from the Fire Department and Chief Dolan from the Police Department. Uh, and I'm going to actually, yes, let's give them a round. Always have to have <laughs> 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 Please, Please practice that. <laughs> They're here to speak to us about a war article um, that um, I think uh, we can talk about afterwards. I know they have certain restrictions on what they can and can't say, uh, but there's an initiative on the ballot. So for those of you that live in Salem, this is important. For those of us that work in Salem, if we can help spread the word, uh, it would be great. And with that, I'll turn it over to the gentleman. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Larry Best. It's my pleasure to serve as Salem's Fire Chief. Um, so Joel and I, Chief Dolan and I, are here today to talk about Warrant Article Number 9, which is on the ballot. Uh, warrant Article Number 9 is for land purchase. It's a bond article. It's $4.8 million. Um, the land is where it's located. Is The address is 28 Key Wade and Drive. And then there's an, another piece of property, which is 58 Lowell Road. Um, so it's tax map, I don't know if I get it right, so tax map 115, lot uh, 7768 and 7771, in case you want to look it up. Um, the two pieces of property combined are about 51 acres. Um, 28 Key Wade and Drive is a little over 47 acres. The 58 Lowell Road, um, which is abutting to it, is uh, just over four acres. It's going on the warrant article as um, municipal uses. There's a lot of opportunity here. Uh, we, I, I know I've been here at the, at the Exchange Club before talking about uh, West Side Fire Stations and the need for that. We've been working on this for a number of years, trying to figure out locations for a West Side Fire Station, what is available for land um, and, and sizing and stuff like that. This opportunity came up uh, when we talked to the, the land owners, the property owners, um, they, they were great. They're very civic minded. Um, it's like I said, it's $4.8 million, um, but the property is actually assessed at five, a little over $5.1 million. Um, so they're, um, they want to work with the town. They want to keep it in the sense for municipal use. They would really like to help us in the future. Um, for us as the fire department, it's that west side fire station. Um, as I've talked about before, we don't have any fire stations west of Route 28. Um, so our, long, our responses are, are lengthy on the west side of town. They can be uh, anywhere to seven to nine minutes or sometimes more because most of the responses come out of the Main Street Fire Station. Some of them come out of the Lawrence Road Fire Station. Um, so with this piece of property, given the size that it is, um, we have a lot of opportunity here um, to address the west side fire station. Um, there's uh, potential as long as the that everything works out right for a new uh, uh, police department, which Chief Dolan can talk a little bit about. Um, and then there's also some uh, opportunity for recreation, um, especially with the 58 Lowell Road piece of property. It's right across from Hedgehog Park. Um, so there may be some opportunity there, whether it's parking or something like that. And then there's seems like there's lots of opportunity within the property, given the size that it is, uh, to be able to do some other passive recreation um, uh, 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 things in the future but we have to evaluate that more as once we get into it and stuff so um, so that's kind of the, the quick of it um, again I can talk a little bit about response times and things like that and the need but I'm gonna let Chief Dolan kind of talk about the police department and uh, where they're at and what they're what they're looking thanks you I think the last time I spoke in front of the exchange club you met at the Park Place Lane. <laughs> so I, don't, I, don't, I'm, I'm, I know I'm dating myself. Uh, Park Place Lane, and I was asking for money for the Citizens Police Academy. We've run uh, 12, 11 Citizens Police Academies over 12 years since the donation, and we still say that it's sponsored by the Exchange Club. So awesome. uh, we appreciate that. We, we put that out, but it's, it's been a very, very good program. Uh, we, we run it every fall with the exception of 2020. You know, we, when the world was canceled, we had, we had to shut that down too. So, but um, there, there's no secret that we we need a new facility, and, and our struggle has always been. And uh, you know, we've gone a couple times to try to get it up off Sally Suites Way, and uh, we, we recently looked at some. We were tasked with getting some town-owned land. There's just there's just not much land um, anymore to to build anything. So th this is kind of a um, we're very fortunate that, that, that we were able to find this. We're able to work with, with a good partner that, that's giving it a, a lower appraised by, uh, value. Uh, it, it is the size-wise and what the building window would be. Um, obviously, we would need some additional engineering and direction from 
uh, some other town leaders of, of whether or not the police station would go there. Uh, but the police station, granted if it's feasible economically to, f to fit on it, we can work out of that location, even though it's technically considered the west side of town. If, if you're not familiar with us, we're deployed out into the, the town anyway. We, we, town's broken up into five areas, and then we have a, ro a rotating car. So we have six officers and a supervisor on the road at all times. And they're already out there. We're not as responsive from the police station, maybe some shift, shift change times. Uh, so us already being out on the street, um, we, we could go for the facility. And if you look at some other uh, neighboring communities that uh, Hudson, New Hampshire is kind of set up in a similar way there. They're kind of off the beaten path and they're in a, an industrial park, which is sort of what this, this build out would be. Um, Nashua, New Hampshire is way out on, on 111. In North Andover just built theirs. Oh, 125, almost into Ward Hill, into, into Haverhill. So uh, with the location of the police department, we're not tied to response times, much like the, the fire department is and, and what they're based on. Uh, we're, we're just we're based on we're already we're already deployed. So to have the, um, a facility on the west side where that would would work fine for us. It's actually a good location. Um, it, it's got access in and out. Uh, we can quickly be on 38. We can quickly be on on Pelham Road, Exit Two. We can get to the mall. Uh, our big our big response areas were just on the other side of 28. So where we would need to be and the focus of the majority of our calls, we're still we're still centrally located. So. Some of the questions that we get um, is what's going to what's going to be at the West Side Fire Station. Um, our goal or intent would be to move the fire administration uh, from the Main Street Fire Station, which is the, the chiefs and the administrative staff, um, from that station to the West Side. We would make the West Side Station our new headquarters station. Uh, so we would move administration, dispatch, fleet maintenance. Uh, we would move training um, over here as well. And again, given the opportunity, the size of the property. Uh, we have some future uh, potential for uh, training uh, ground or training type facility at this place as well, which helps us when it comes to um, doing our jobs and, and being proficient. Um, like right now, sometimes if we need to do fire ground training or we need to do certain stuff, um, we just can't do it because we don't have the properties here in Salem or uh, we have to pay overtime and take our trucks over to Nashua uh, to use their training ground or to Concord or something like that. So there's an opportunity there for us. Um, when I talk about the form, uh, response times, uh, we follow a national standard, uh, the NFPA standard. The, our goal is to have the first fire truck or ambulance on scene in four or fewer minutes. Um, like I talked about is this area of town, the west side of the community where we're kind of standing right now, can be seven, eight, nine minutes, sometimes more. Um, it's not only important during a fire, but it's also important during a medical emergency just because time is of the essence. We can get our EMTs and paramedics there and start providing care and taking care of that person and stuff. Um, one of the other questions that we often get is what's going to happen with the Main Street station. Um, Main Street's going to stay where it is. We're still going to have a fire station there. We still have a, a need for a fire station in the center part of the community. Uh, so we'll have a fire truck there. We'll have an ambulance there. Most likely the paramedic vehicle will be, intercept vehicle will be located in the center of town. Um, so we'll make some changes there, but we'll actually help in the sense of moving administration and some of those other functions out of the Main Street station is it's gonna allow them to have more space at Main Street and then we can renovate and take care of that facility in the future. Um, there's lots of needs there with that building being constructed in 1967 and stuff.